Mr. Goodwin, I like to jump off cliffs. <laughs> oh, oh, my legs. Oh, it really hurts. Oh, I broke my legs. Oh. Hey guys, Mr. Gameplay 1001 is here, and today we have finally got to the newest update that turns this game into a into more of an RPG game and that's what I like about it now this game added something new it's the quit button in the main menu now so yeah it's just like an RPG so if you wanna go to multiplayer on the main menu just forget it I'm just we're gonna use my mansion because I already created a bunch of crap that you're gonna like Yeah, I should get out of that. Alright. So here we are in my enchanting room. It's a lot of work that I get. Now here's the one of the newest items. This is the enchanting table. Oh, let's get rid of that. Now, this thing is really cool because it upgrades your weapons and armor armor to make to make your battle gear stronger. So you don't die a lot. It's so freaking amazing. And this thing has a cool effect too. Put a few bookshelves around it. And it just sucks in the words. Now there's only one problem I have with this thing. Um, Let me pull out a sword real quick. Alright. Alright. One of the things it doesn't tell you is what kind of upgrade it is. So you have to get random luck to play your game. I don't know why they why they would put this in the game if they won't tell us what up upgrades we're going to get. Now, of course, the thing changes every time when you place the item back in. Oh, my God, there's a level 11. Holy crap, a level 10? Maybe, maybe it depends how many books you put around it. The more books, the more stuff you get. I think I might put that in my library then. Okay, so this is what's called a brewing stand. This is how you're going to make potions. So let's get on to an example on how to make a bottle real quick. So first we're going to need three pieces of glass. Put them into a V shape. Do I have the crap? Get out of my demonstration, you random people. So you put them into into a V-shape and you get three glass bottles. I've been playing this thing all night and my mouse has been squeaking every time I've been pressing it. I mean, I stayed up all night playing this freaking game making potions. Look at this crap. Look how much I made, god dang it. See how much I've been doing? It takes a while to figure out the ingredients. Yeah, do this to get... Yeah, I'm gonna copy this all online. <sighs> okay, back to what I was doing. First, I should explain the new blocks in the game. Alright, first there's... First there's new nether stuff. There's nether brick, nether brick fence, and nether... Bricks, stairs. Now, this also means that the stronghold now has its. I mean, I mean, the Nether finally has their own strongholds with three, with two new enemies in it, which is quite amazing. This is the. This is supposed to be the mushroom grass biome, crap, to do it with. Yeah. And um. Oh yeah, here's a bunch of other crap. Cauldron. I don't know what that does yet. You're supposed to throw items in it. The Eye of Ender. This is what you use to build the end po portal, but I never found I never found one of the strongholds. Blaze Rod, you get this from defeating a blaze enemy in the game. Gas Deer, you just have to defeat a gas with it. Gold Nugget. 
You have nine of them, and you'll make your own little old your own gold ingot. Another wart is found. It's a new plant in the Nether. Spider eye, just kill a spider. Verminate, I can't pronounce that. Blaze powder, blah, blah. Okay, you you can see all that. Plus, they added a few new discs, which I really like their music. Uh, let's. And per and the golden ha apple has a purple glow now, which is pretty awesome. And now, whenever you dr drink a potion or something. You get an effect that's supposed to do something to you. So let me get out the golden apple, for example. Let me show you. Alright, look at... You know what? This is what I love about the new Too Many Items mod, because you can do this. And there's a new num 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 sound. Crap. Now look at that. Now it adds this little timer on what kind of effect the potion has until it's done. Now, of course, this is an apple, plus they also give you some weird bubbly crap that flows around you. So, yeah, I'm going to do a video on all the types of potion effects. Oh, yeah, there's that. Dun, 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 dun. I want to jump off a cliff now. <laughs> uh, just kidding. And I was so close to the camera. Alright. Now, first of all, most of these potions are made with the basic awkward po potion. To do that, you just need nether wart. And just put a bottle of water in it. Just dip the piece of bottle glass in the river or something. And the cool thing about this, it doesn't, like, take a whole... A whole block of it? Ooh, I forgot. I broke my freaking legs again. <gasps> I'm okay. Uh, I got the chills when I fell. F come on. Fly! All you have to do is just scoop it down in any water, I guess. Let's try it right here. And... Nope, you can only do it on a water block source. See, now we have a bottle of water. Now just combine this with nether wart and all that crap. The items, all you have to do is just... Put whatever enchanting item you want to put in there. Just put that there. Such as nether wart. And it bubbles up. You can put three at a time. Which makes the effect nice. And whenever you take out one of them. It still doesn't like start it over. It goes into all of them at once. Because it's like that science chemistry crap. See? Now this is an awkward potion it doesn't do anything until it combine it with blaze powder and blaze powder equals how should I say this oh yeah strength now too many items mod freaking rocks now you can change it whatever stuff you want and my save is still there Alright, back to the main point. Uh, it's not done, not done, not done, not done. Why am I getting all the chills now? Come on. Hooray! S Potion of strength. Now you can also upgrade them to make them more stronger. So first let's... Yeah, there we go. I just sipped it. And I can't see the effect unless I do this. There we go. Strength! I have a bloody sword symbol. Which means I am stronger! Let's fight! <laughs> oh. I have my nether portal. It freaking hurts. But oh well. 
I might have to build a town library now. Okay, guys, I'll make a bunch of videos later on the all the new stuff. That's how it's gonna work. So yeah, that's how it's gonna work. New videos for each type of thing. Yeah, we'll do that. See you later.